As you probably know, the Zebo Mod 737 for X-Plane has become one of the most popular and accurate 737 NG simulators. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get these realistic and accurate air manager panels for use with Zebo 737. And also look into a product called ZHSI, which can generate these beautiful 737 displays on a second networked computer. Stick around and I'll tell you how you can get it all for free. My regular viewers know that a couple years ago I developed an overhead panel for a use with Zebo, uh, which I made available to uh, the guys at uh, Sim Innovations to, uh, to offer for sale when they're struggling getting started and uh, always intended to do the uh, forward panels too. While creating all the switches and knobs as for the overhead panel was not a problem, the big big stumbling block was creating the uh, the flight displays. Uh, there's an unbelievable amount of logic involved in trying to program that actually at the start was just beyond the capabilities of uh, Air Manager. Well that caused me to put the uh, project on the back burner for a while until I was at uh, Flight Sim Expo uh, about uh, two years ago in Orlando I met a fellow there who showed me a plugin he had made called X Texture Extractor which has allowed you to uh, take the displays from Zebo and place them as you see here. Then when you open the panel uh, in front of that with some transparent openings you get a very realistic look with operational displays without any of the programming. The plugin could save the position of Windows so that when you opened on a subsequent a sim session, they would be in the right place to be visible uh, behind the panel. You could take them any place and drag them to different monitors. Here I'll show you a second monitor with the uh, other panel that I created. And uh, it produces a very realistic look and functionality. Well Ralph and I talked about offering this as a, another pay panel to go with the overhead panel. But Ralph thought using a plug-in was just not that reliable and up to the standards of Sim Innovations. He wanted to develop the system completely with Air Manager. Ralph also thought Sim Innovations shouldn't commit to a system that utilized a third-party plug-in. And uh, I tended to agree with him. So the decision was made that these panels wouldn't be made available in the free store. But he did suggest that I consider releasing them on my own, which I'm going to do today. The good news is is that I've uh, found an alternative to X Texture Extractor, which is uh, I think a little more reliable and offers some other advantages. It's called ZHSI. What I'd like to do is briefly explain what it does, not in great detail, but how it can serve the same purpose, and why I think it might be even a better solution for most cockpit builders. ZHSI is a Java application uh, for X-Plane. has a plug-in. You can see uh, as you open it, the displays that I had open previously are there in position. The dashboard view allows you to monitor the status of X-Plane and Zebo, also the terrain database, nav database, also the weather. Now you can move that out of the way. You can even minimize it. You can have it not open on start. But the main thing, the next main thing to do is to set which displays are open. You can see you have quite a bit of flexibility. I'll turn uh, one off here, the PFD for the uh, captain. Open the copilot's PFD. You can see you can position that any place you want. You can drag it into other monitors. You can also resize it using the scroll wheel and the left and right arrows. The gauges tab allows you to uh, set some other instruments including the standby display, the flaps, captains and first officers clocks, the RMI, and also some overhead displays for the electrical and IRS. If I click standby RMI it pops up. I can click it, turn it off. You can see they can all be uh, toggled on and off. There's the uh, standby attitude indicator and uh, the chronograph for the captain. The enunciators are available using uh, some lines of uh, code to, and those are uh, can be turned on and off. The options tab allows you to set the conditions for windows whether you want them opened or closed when you start up and various other things including uh, the fuel units to be displayed and uh, and so on. 
On the settings tab, you set the IP address for the X-Plane that you're connecting to, also directory path to your X-Plane folder and uh, other resources that you need for terrain display and so on. Let's get the setting window out of the way and uh, launch Air Manager. And let's scroll down and find the Zebo panel left that we have used. And there we can see the panel. Or we'll scroll down through the settings. I'm going to click, click through on and always on top off. That'll make it easier to move the displays from ZHSI. As the panel opens, we can click through the transparent areas onto the uh, displays and bring them to the front. Uh, and giving them focus and then we can drag them where we want them exactly resizing them with the scroll wheel to make them larger or smaller until they're just right. And then if we turn always on top back on that'll remain on top and uh, once we turn click off click through off uh, we won't be able to bring that to the front again but it'll stay positioned behind the monitor in the perfect position for the next time you start Zebo. So let's look at the right monitor with the ZHSI uh, displays already pre-positioned, when we open the panel, they fit right in, just like uh, with the other monitor, and we're ready to go. So let me look at how we set, uh, set this up uh, on various situations and why I think ZHSI is really the answer to making these panels work great. I'm going to start off with the assumption that uh, anyone with a serious sim is going to probably want to have three visual monitors driven by a high-end GPU and running, in this case, X-Plane. I'm also going to assume that uh, Sirius Simmer would probably want to have uh, an additional monitor for a uh, panel besides just running the scenery on the three monitors. Now the simplest solution is just to connect that monitor directly to the GPU using the fourth GPU port, which is available on most high-end GPUs right now. Then you could run the Air Manager panel for Zebo using Air Manager and either X Texture Extractor or ZHSI. Remember that X Texture Extractor can only be used when the panel and X Plane are running on the same computer. Driving the additional monitor and the software does create a slight drop in frames, but it's manageable. The problem really occurs when we add a second panel monitor. Most current video cards only have four ports. And although it's technically possible to add a fifth monitor utilizing onboard video or other tricks like the pluggable docking station, this is where the frame rate starts to seriously drop. One obvious solution is to disconnect the panel monitors from the main CPU and allow it to utilize all its graphical power for running the scenery alone. A second computer can be attached to the two panel monitors and operated in one of two ways. First, using the second computer to run the Air Manager panels and use X Texture Extractor to provide the displays. This requires X-Plane to also be operated in a separate copy on the panel computer. A second and I think better way to do this is to run Air Manager and ZHSI on the second computer to run the panels. This provides everything you need in not a second copy of X-Plane, which costs more and requires more computer power. In my opinion, ZHSI is easier to set up. It's currently supported by a community effort, and it also has many extras like enunciators and other extra gauges that aren't included with X-Texture Extractor, which is basically a plugin that has not been upgraded in quite a while. One additional advantage of ZHSI is how the display units can be switched. X Texture Extractor takes the off-screen drawing buffers from uh, X-Plane uh, and uses those images uh, to put in windows, but they can't be swapped around, so you have to set uh, a certain image in each opening and they can't be switched. As you can see, it's quite easy to switch the images uh, using uh, ZHSI. Just another advantage of using this making a very realistic cockpit. Of course if you're building a hardware cockpit you can use a very similar strategy. Uh, Air Manager can drive uh, all sorts of hardware using Arduino, Raspberry Pi, soon to be uh, the new Pico, Raspberry Pi Pico. 
You could run your cockpit in a similar way using a second computer and then utilize uh, ZHSI to provide the displays in uh, individual monitors that you might have for the primary navigation display, ECAS, and so on. Of course the instruments match uh, color-wise with the overhead panel that is available from some innovations for a very modest charge. Uh, certainly when you can compare that to what similar software costs from some of the uh, other companies offering turnkey solutions. I also would like to add that these instruments are mostly individual instruments that can be resized to a larger size. Uh, to be used any way you want. I have a couple guys that I'm helping build a cockpit using the overhead and these forward panels that you're seeing today. Uh, and uh, they've also built a frame. They have a center pedestal. It's a very nice thing. I'll show you a picture here. This is a good example of what you can do with uh, the setup that we last spoke about. You can see they have the uh, touch screen overhead panel. 43 inch and then they have uh, touch screen monitors in the front center and uh, right side for the co-pilot. These are utilizing the uh, ZHSI instruments and the instruments from this set that I'm going to release today. They also have a lower center uh, panel and a console on the pedestal. Also touch screens. Obviously this is still a work in progress. We need to make some background images uh, to surround all the displays and uh, behind the instruments there but uh, this shows you what you can do with this instrument set you can uh, enlarge them spread them out put move them wherever you want and make a very realistic looking cockpit I really am excited to see what others will do with these instruments and uh, improvements that others might make to them as time goes on so I think this is the time to release these instruments I'm going to make them available I'll tell you at the very end here how to get them going to put them on the website but they'll be free of charge for non-commercial use um, and I would ask people who make corrections or improvements to submit them to me I'll have a, a link on the uh, website and then I'll uh, kind of approve them and we'll build the set and keep it updated on the web website where you can download them. A good friend Chuck Kendall and I had started to uh, make some modifications for the honeycomb yoke for flap detents and we started a website called flapmodster.com uh, but since then we've changed the name and got a new URL. This is just kind of our way to give back to the sim community which give, has given so much to us over the years and uh, in my retirement here a little more time to devote to things like this. Now anyway the website where you can find these panels is freesimstuff.com click on the download link and agree to the terms and you can scroll down and see I have a new section now for Air Manager Panels. You click that and you'll see the two panels are there. There's two archives. Each one has the instruments and the panel layout. Two SIF files that you just import. Go to the import menu on uh, Air Manager and you import them in. Of course you're going to have to go after the uh, ZHSI or X Texture Extractor. Those are available on xplane.org. Anyway, back to the main menu, I'll show you just some of the other stuff that you might be interested in. For the honeycomb yoke, there is uh, some STL files for 3D printable parts, including uh, flap detents uh, and some different throttles and so on that might be usable um, for you and helpful if you have a honeycomb, uh, I say yoke, I should have said Bravo, uh, throttle quadrant. And then uh, some Satec throttle quadrant stuff too that we some of ours and some are contributed if you'd like to contribute we'd love to have more contrib contributions just send those to me at uh, flapmodster at gmail.com thanks for watching please like subscribe comment love to hear what you have to say Visit our website at uh, freesimstuff.com. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.